and we'll go from there, okay? I'm turning everything on, just bear with me. All right, y'all should be able to see my screen. Thumbs up. Okay, good. Where's Mr. Vogt? He's not here today. Yeah, where is he? Oh, there he is. Turn. I was going to talk about him. He's here. All right. <laughs> I guess we're just going to have to just not talk about him. All right. So the chapter three test. We got to number 17, so I'll just I'll just start it over and see and skip the ones that I remember doing. Um, and see if there's some that might pop up. Uh, I think we did this one. Somebody, yeah. Did we do this one? Yes or no? Yes. Thought we did. Okay, so we're going to skip that one. And of course, I'm going to answer all the bonus questions. That way, the people that miss it will feel even worse. Uh, cell phone. Only one that has the real phone number on it. Um, we can do this one. I don't mind doing it. So this one says, find which one it is. Well, I'm going to pull up my handy dandy whiteboard. And I'm going to tell you which one it's not. So pull up my whiteboard. And new, and I don't want that. I want annotation. There we go. Somebody tell me which one it's not. C and D. Not C and D. Why? Because X is negative. Because the A is negative, that means it's going, it's concave down. And we don't know which side it's on unless we punch it in the calculator. Let's punch it in the calculator because we're lazy today. How about that? So I'm going to go to my handy dandy calculator. And, you know, give me a second to go to my handy dandy calculator. And it's up here. They put it on the TV screen. And let me get y'all back. And there is our calculator. Y'all bear with me. I'm trying to get everything on here. I do so much for y'all. Y'all just don't know how to appreciate it. There we go. All right, so I'm going to go to Y is equal. I'm going to hit clear, clear, and clear. And I'm going to go back up here and type in negative 2x squared plus 20x minus 46. And it's on, that doesn't look right. Hold on, make sure I typed it in right. Negative 2x squared, ah, I always do that. Damn Russians. Insert x. Hold on a second. I'm going to get there eventually. Second, insert X. That's what I did before. Why didn't you do it? Okay. And it looks like it's on the right side. So it looks like it's going to be B. 
still don't look right. I'm going to do a zoom first quadrant. There we go. And that's B. The vertex second trace since it's concave down, it would be the max. There's the left side. There's the right side. And there's my guess. I get five comma four. I think we did this one. Five comma four. And you should feel good about yourself. Yay. Next question. Zero, zilch, nada. I think this is the one we left off with, or we might have done it. I can't remember. I remember leaving off with a question like this. Did we leave off? Is that when we stopped? And they work email. And nobody's going to say anything. Thank you. I appreciate y'all's communication. Thank you. So negative nine plus eight I plus seven plus six I. No, we didn't do a plus. I think this is the one we left off with and I didn't fit. I didn't even start it. I don't think I did. So that's a positive one, distribute it. That's a positive one, distribute it. And negative nine plus seven, negative two, eight I plus six I is 14 I. You could factor out a negative two, but there's no point. So that should be your answer. Negative two, fourteen I. I can't remember if I said fourteen plus. Yes. Yeah. Next. All right. You can do this on a graphing calculator if you want. I'm going to do it on a graphing calculator. So y is equal to x squared. So I'm going to hit delete, delete, and I'm going to do x squared minus 2x minus 2, delete, and delete, delete, delete. And graph and zoom standard. And let's go ahead and I'm going to zoom box. And I'm going to get that Y and those X intercepts. Get that in there in the vertex. You could use window for this. I just like using box. And there. And we can get our vertex. So it's a concave up. So that means the min. Second trace. Min and there's the left side and there's the right side and there's my guess. So one negative one. So somebody write that down for me because I don't have a pen. I have to put it right here. One negative one. Negative one. Close parentheses. And what do they want here? A, write the function in the form. Okay. So they want us to complete the square. So we need to complete the square. You could factor out an X, but that's not going to help you. So we're going to have to complete the square. And graphing tool. Let's see what the X intercepts are. So second trace. 
trace and zero. And I'm going to go up here and there's my left bound. And there's my right bound. It looks like it's the vertex. I bet the origin. OK, that's one X intercept. Zero, zero. And we can use that to graph it. So we said that. The vertex was one and negative one. And there's zero, zero. The only thing we got to do now is complete the square. So. Uh, X squared minus 2X plus blank is equal to zero plus blank. Half of two is one, one squared is one. So X minus one quantity squared is equal to one. There's our vertex, negative one being positive one, negative one. Hold on. Excuse me. And well, of X. thank you. X minus one squared minus one. So that's a. So I go up to A. Get my mouse back. There we go. And I type in parentheses X minus one close parentheses shift up arrow two right arrow minus one. And I should get a hundred on this one. I'm amazing. Okay. Next. Ooh. I think we ought to quit on this one, not even try. It's got all them eyes in there. We can't do this. All right, give you a minute to do it because it's all admin and subtracting, so you should be able to not have any trouble doing this one. All you got to do is combine like terms. So I'll give you a minute. Let's see, it's 927. I'll give you the 928. And if you can't do it, that means I'll just have to make fun of you. Like I do, Mr. Vogue. Miss McLaughlin, I got your email and your message. I got you squared away. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Vogue, did you watch that fight Saturday night? No, nah, but I, I did see a couple highlights. <laughs> the highlights didn't do it justice. Oh, it, it was that good? Yeah, it was. I mean, Tyson Fury is just amazing how he can box and be as big as he is. Yeah. I mean, Mike Tyson could hit, but Mike Tyson wasn't a boxer. I mean, he hit hard, though. Huh? He hit hard. Good gracious, he hit hard. But Tyson Fury, he does everything. He moves, he boxes, and he hits. And that just don't work. I mean, and I'm and, and, and gonna give him, give him credit. Wilder did everything he could, but yeah, Wilder's not a boxer. He's a puncher. And a, a a puncher is not gonna last as long as a boxer in the at, 50, at 12 rounds. It's not. That's why Muhammad Ali was so good. Muhammad Ali was a boxer. That's why that's why Joe Frazier can never beat a Muhammad Ali. Because he was a boxer against a puncher. But it was a good fight. It was worth the money I spent on it. It was a very good fight. Yeah, I'm going to have to see if I can find it somewhere. Oh. I want to see Tyson go up against Joshua. I think, I think, I think Tyson would drop Joshua within five rounds. Go against All right. who? Who? Joshua. He's the uh, the other part of the world champion. Well, he just got beat by some 
Ukrainian or Russian, but I don't think I don't I think he's gonna get a rematch and get it back probably. Okay. But he's 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 not he's not Tyson Fury. But Tyson Fury would knock him out within five rounds. Okay. Somebody tell me what negative five plus three is. Negative two, Hubert. Negative That's right, two. class. And what's negative two plus two? Zero. Zero. So forget about the numbers. They cancel out. So I'm going to take my red pen, and I'm going to cancel that one out, and that one, and that one. What's 4i minus 3i? I. And what's i minus i? Uh, goose egg. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe they gave you all such an easy problem. I'm going to take that one out. What's the answer? Zero. Zero. I can't click on it. Why can't I click on it? There. I'll take that one out. No, you ain't got to do that. Oh, well, I ain't got to do that. Don't All right, y'all do this one. I'm going to give you two minutes. I'm going to give you two minutes to complete the square. We've been, we've been lazy. We've done a couple with the calculator. So we're going to do this one by hand. Do it by radicals. It says exact, so they want radicals. I'll give you till 9.33. Give you two minutes. And I'm going to ask Mr. Vogt to give us his answers. That way, if he don't give them to him, we can make fun of him. Uh, I'm having some uh, audio issues. <laughs> oh, go <laughs> ahead and turn your camera up. Make it face the ceiling. <laughs> Do that, too. There we go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Tide Pods. I told you what my son said the other day. My son just turned, he's turning 15 at the end of October. He said, Daddy, he said, my generation is a generation of the dumbasses. I said, yeah, you got that right. I like that, Mr. Bates. You got your school background. That's, that's neat. I like that. Are you trying to be studious, Mr. Bates? Okay, just want to make sure you're not you're not changing on me. All right. All right. Nine thirty-two. I'll give you one more minute. Miss Gill is with us today. She's not working forty-five hours. You're not working forty-five hours today. She don't have her mic turned on. Oh, okay. I got it. Um, I'm actually working three to seven at night, but I'm going on vacation Thursday through Sunday, so I was trying to get all my hours in before <laughs> vacation. You mean, you mean they give you vacations on that floor? I thought y'all just work all the time. <laughs> no. I'm only supposed to work like three, three and a half days. Yeah. Uh, you work like five days out of, out of three. <laughs> Well, the new, well, this week I did, but um, the new job that I've been talking about is yeah. only going to be like three and a half days after. Uh, oh, so you're moving up in the world. You're getting promoted from working 48 hours a day to working just a regular 12-hour day? Yeah. Good. Yeah. So, I'm, a, I'm a nursing assistant now instead of a trainer. Well, that's good. You know, I... Uh, I have to give. I gave one of my one of my students said something about free college this morning in the last last class. And of course, I lit into him like white on rice. I told him, I said, "No, we don't need free college. You just need to get you a daggum degree or a trade that you can get a job, and quit taking these 
underwater firefighting classes and not being able to get a job. We are a product of our own decisions. Just like I got, I got three friends. Well, I don't really have that many because I don't trust them. But anyway, I have three acquaintances. And they chose, when they got out of high school, back a long time ago, when we were all in high school, they chose not to get a trade or a degree. They, they chose that route. They chose it. And they're whining about not having health care, not having life insurance, and not having, well, whose fault is that? It's their fault. Yeah, you're right. We are a product of our own decisions. People want to party like it's 1999 when they get out of high school, but then they cry and whine when they turn 40 or 50 and they ain't got jack. You made that decision, Bubba. You made it. We got to we got to start being accountable for our own decisions. Quit blaming everybody. But it's so much easier just to blame everybody else. You got that right, Mr. Vote. You you hit the nail right on the head. Mr. Vote goes out and drinks, and he he decides to get behind the car at one o'clock in the morning after he's had about fifteen too many. Okay, and he gets pulled over, and he blames the policeman. Yeah, he should have uh, just let me keep driving. Whose fault is it, Mr. Vote? That you're in that you're in that car drinking at, after you've been drinking. You're in that car after midnight. Whose fault is that? Uh, I think it's the cops. Yeah, oh, it is. Okay. Well, uh, there you go. I no guess way, I, Jose. There's. I guess I'm just crazy. <laughs> 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 Mr. Vote, you won't do plus one, plus blank. No, it's the Russians' fault, right, Mr. Vote? It's the Russians' fault. There we go. Yes. It's All good. right. Two x squared plus five. Let's see. Adds x plus blank is equal to one plus two times blank. And yes, I'm going to get my highlighter. Whatever I factor out there. Goes there. Now I'm going to take my five halves. I'm going to divide by two over one and square it. Five halves times one over two and square it. Five fourths squared is 25 sixteenths. And I'm going to take my blue pen and I'm going to cancel that two with that, make that an eight, and make this eight eighths. And that's going to be 25 plus eight. I have no idea. 33. Somebody help me out. 33 over eight. eight. Yeah. And this is shortcut number number one. Because of that, so x plus five fourths quantity squared with that two out front equals 33 over eight. And there's your vertex and your vertex form. Bring the 33 eighths over. I don't know if they're asking. They're just wanting the x-intercept. So we're going to keep going. I'm going to divide by two. And that's going to be X plus five fourths quantity squared is equal to 33 over 16. Square root. X plus five fourths is equal to positive or negative square root of 33 over four. X is equal to five, negative five, plus or minus square root of 33 over four. Is 
So I'm going to hit. Uh, negative. No. Negative five. Plus or minus. Square root. Of thirty three. Over. Four. Well, I can't get, I want to go in the bottom part. There we go, over four. It's a miracle. Next. All right, I'm gonna let y'all write this one down. Because it's a uh, word problem, so y'all will automatically do what? Now I'm freaking out already. There you go. Try. Skip it. <laughs> Skip it. I would just not even try. So, a ladder is resting against a wall. The top of the ladder touches the wall at six feet. Find the length of the ladder if the length is two feet. If the length is two feet more than its distance from the wall. Okay, let me let me draw this out. Let me get my straight line maker. And I'm gonna color the wall. There's the bit wall. And the ladder not to scale I'm just drawing a ladder and let's see the top of the ladder touches the wall at a height of six feet so this right here is six feet and I'm not going to try to write with my mouse because y'all will make fun of me and then I'll have to put smokestacks on my pickup truck to overcompensate so I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to put six feet. There we go. So that is six feet. I don't like the way it where it is, so I'm going to fix that. Actually, it's too small, but you're all right. And it says now the ladder is resting against the wall. We got that. The top of the ladder touches at six feet. Find the length of the ladder if the length is two. Okay, we're going to call this X. We're going to take a yellow or uh, another line. And we're going to color it green for grass. Okay, that green area is going to be X. The distance from the distance from the building to the ladder is going to be called X. And then this is going to be X plus two. Let's see. The length is two feet more than the distance from the wall. So X plus two. Now, this is the kind of problem I don't mind putting on a test. That problem we had in the homework with 596,000 and 633,000, and that was a little bit ridiculous. This one is doable. All right, I want y'all to plug it in the Pythagorean theorem and then quickly give up right after you do the Pythagorean theorem. So go ahead and plug it in the Pythagorean theorem. X squared plus Y squared is equal to Z squared. Or X squared plus Y squared is equal to H squared. Or A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. And solve it. I'm going to give you two minutes. 944, I'll give you two minutes.
give you two minutes. All right, I don't know what time I gave y'all, but that's enough time. All right, here we go. X squared plus six squared is equal to X plus two squared. X squared plus 36 is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 4, shortcut number two, 1. I'm going to bring the x squared over here. What happens to the x squareds? Cancel out. Cancel out. I wasn't expecting that. And that gives you 4x plus 4 is equal to 36 minus 4 minus 4, 4x four is equal to 32, x is equal to what? 8? Eight. Eight, Therefore, yeah. x plus 2 is equal to 8 plus 2, which is 10. So this one is 10 feet, and this is 8 feet. That's how, when I, when I gave you all that homework question, that's the that's the that's the reason I gave it. it. You know, for a for a couple of digits, single digits, but not 434 feet and 562 feet. That was a little bit ridiculous. So it should be. Let's see. What are they asking for? Length of letters 10 feet delta. Hold on a second. And we did one like that one because I remember the I squared. We did one like that one, which would be, I'll do it in my head. You can write it down. 81 plus 36. What is 81 plus 36? 97, Hubert. That's right, class. Okay, I didn't do it right. Let's see, let's, let me do it again. 981, that would be 6i and 6i. That's going to be negative 36, but the negative, I thought it was 81 plus 36. I must we, not have. It would be like once. 17 or something like All right, that. Okay. Somebody take 81 plus 36, please. What is it? Yeah, she, she was right. It should be 117. Thank you. There we go. Thank you. So you can actually do it in your head. 9 squared minus 36 times I squared. And I squared is negative 1. That negative one turns to negative 36 into a positive 36. So you got 81 plus 36. Shortcut number three. Okay, this one is a conjugate. You're gonna use the conjugate here. You're gonna multiply the bottom and the top by the conjugate of eight minus two i, because you don't want a radical in the denominator. 
So you're going to multiply by, I think we did one of these, 8 plus 2i, 8 plus 2i, because 8 plus 2i is the conjugate of 8 minus 2i. And that's going to be shortcut number 3 on the bottom, shortcut number 1 on the top, because this is shortcut number 1, and this is shortcut number 3. So this is going to be, I don't know, I wouldn't even expand that unless they want to, I don't know. 8 plus 2i quantity squared over 64 minus 4 times negative 1, which is going to be 8 plus 2i over 64 minus plus 4 is 68. Now that to me is the most simplified, but you could turn this into uh, 64 plus 32i plus 4i squared, which is 64 minus 4, which is 60 plus 32i over 68 and that would you could factor out something there i'm just going to draw these two and you can simplify as needed one of those two i'm going to go ahead and simplify and say let's say two will go in that that would be 30 and 16 four 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 will go into this 17 times so that's yeah let's do four let's see four will go into 60 how many times 15 somebody help me out 15 so i'm gonna do 15 plus 8i divided by what i say 17 i was doing it in my head That's the answer. Next. Okay. All right. I'm just going to go through this. Your vertex is negative one and negative two. Negative one, negative two. There it is. The coordinates for the vertex. I just did that. The domain. Domain is negative infinity to positive infinity. Negative infinity to positive infinity. And I'm sorry, if you don't understand that after many problems that I've done with y'all, uh, I don't think I can help you with prayer meeting. Uh, you're just going to have to learn it yourself. And that's going to be positive infinity. Range is from negative 2 to infinity. You can put a bracket on the range to infinity. Okay, line of symmetry, x is equal to negative 1. Well, you wouldn't give me an answer. Oh, the coordinates. Parentheses, negative 1, comma, negative 2. Okay, what else does it want? It's a minimum because it's, it's a minimum because it's concave up minimum value of the function is negative two now are you finished you got to get a e i think it's e right now oh okay, uh, okay. Uh, increasing is from negative one to infinity
and decreasing is from negative infinity. Aren't y'all glad I showed y'all all this from the get-go? Negative infinity, comma, negative one, parentheses. Now, can I go now? Thank you. Now, we have been doing all of that since the first complete and square problem. So I know you've done it at least 10 times because I've given you at least 10 examples on the 10 on the level zero to 10. I know we've done at least 10 examples. So you can't say you, you don't know that. What should a student do after they after they are out of class for a while or not after if something happens and they see that they're going to be out of class for a while? Communicate. I'm not doing that by complete the square. You can do it. I'm not. We've already done enough complete the square on this test, and that's an easy one. So you should be able to do that one because you don't have to factor out anything. Toward the end of the I'm looking for problems that we haven't done now. Uh, asked you were meet after class. If you have incomplete assignments, the zeros will decrease it. OK, let's see if we can pick this one out. We'll do this one with the calculator. So somebody tell me which one it's not. It's not A or B. It's not A. And it's not D. So it's either Charlie or Bravo. Bravo or Charlie. So let's take our handy dandy calculator out. Let's just do it. And that's going to be Y is equal. to second insert negative x squared plus oh working with the mouse is impossible six x minus six and it's on the right side so that would be Bravo. Let's go ahead and do Zoom. I'm going to go down to Quadrant 1. And I'm going to find the vertex, second trace, which would be the maximum because it's concave down. And the left bound, well, There's the left bound. There's the right bound. And the middle is right about there. I've got three, three. Three comma three. Next, completing the square, I'm gonna let y'all write that one down. If you wanna write it down right quick, you can work on it at home. They want the x-intercepts, use radicals. Uh, it takes the highest grade, and drops the lowest. Uh, because he is mean and he hates me. Uh, zero has been placed. No way, no how. Okay, that when you do the quadrat, I meant the uh, complete the square. That's another complete the square. If they don't want you to solve it, they want you to put it in intercept form, which I showed you that. 
the first three to five completing the squares. I wrote it in the top right hand corner, remember? Look in your notes. Uh, overall grade. The only one with the United States in front of it. Complete in square. You can write that one down right quick. 2x squared minus 5x minus 17. Okay, find the product. We haven't done one like this. Let's do one like this. First of all, you got to do shortcut number two with that four minus i quantity squared. So that's going to be three i times 16 minus eight i plus i squared. 3i, 16, minus 8i, minus 1. 3i, 15, minus 8i, 45i, minus 24i squared. And that's going to be 24 minus, or plus 45i. You can factor out a three, but I'm just going to leave it like that. Twenty-four plus forty-five I. Twenty-four plus forty-five I. Uh, that's another, you can do that one in the calculator. We've done wore that one out. Solve the equation by completing the square. They already got the six over there. You just got to add a blank on each side, factor out a five, and then divide one fifth, divide it by two and square it. Solve by completing the square and solve by completing the square. Well, let's see what I made, and I didn't do all the tests. I only halfway did the test, and I made a 73. Would you believe that there are people in this class that have a 52 average? But it's probably somebody else's fault. They just blame Mr. Vogt. You're the reason, Mr. Boat, people are making bad grades in here. Yeah, you know, it's, 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 these, uh, it's these good looks. They, they're so distracting. Oh, yeah. uh, is that what it is? Mm. You know. I didn't think about that. <laughs> Let me take the roll. Got to go. Got to go. I don't know where all these people got to go. And if they go, why aren't they there to begin with? and calling from the place they got to go. I don't understand that. It's a conspiracy is what it is. All right, I'm going to call the roll.